Today, we are going to show you how to reassemble your force trolling motor for servicing the trolling motor mount components. We highly recommend having two people for this service work, as the pieces are heavy. Improper handling can lead to damaging the equipment as well as injury to yourself. If you are uncomfortable with performing any of the service work yourself, please visit www.garmin.com forward slash dealers. For this process, you will need any parts you will be replacing, along with the tools used in the disassembly video. We will start by attaching the upper link. First, place the upper link on the mount, and insert the bolt, bushing, and washer into both sides of the mount. Using an 8mm hex bitter wrench, tighten the two bolts to secure the upper link to the mount base. Make sure that these are very tight. Now we will install the lower link to the mount base. Start by placing the lower link and shaft stabilizer into the mount. Next, insert the lower gas spring assembly. Push the pin through the bushing, lower link, shaft stabilizer, and gas spring assembly. Using a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, install the pin covers on the sides of the mount base. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, connect the spring from the latching mechanism to the hook on the base of the gas spring. Now we will reinstall the steering servo housing. For this process, we recommend two people. Improper handling can lead to damaging the equipment as well as injury to yourself. Start by having the lower link in the deployed position. If you have not done so already, insert the bushings into the lower holes on the steering servo housing. Holding the pole cable up, place the steering servo housing onto the lower link of the mount, aligning the lower holes on the housing with the holes on the link. This process is best completed with two people. While lifting up on the steering servo housing, push the pivot pin through the housing and the link to hold it in place. Make sure not to hit the pin with a hammer or other object. Damaging this pin is not covered under warranty. Next, we will secure the upper gas spring. Push the safety rod toward the steering servo housing as far as possible to lock the lower pivot pin in place. Align the single hole on the base of the gas spring with the safety rod and press down. If you must rotate the gas spring, rotate it in a counterclockwise direction only. Now, align the gas spring pin with the shaft stabilizer and insert the pin. Using a number zero Phillips screwdriver, tighten the set screw that secures the gas spring pin to the shaft stabilizer. Using the number two Phillips screwdriver, secure the gas spring to the lower link of the mount using the included screws. Now we will connect the upper link of the mount to the steering servo housing. Make sure that the data cable is accessible and not trapped by any part of the mount. If you have not done so already, insert the bushings in the upper holes on the steering servo housing. Pivot the upper link of the mount forward while tipping the top of the steering servo housing inward so the holes on the upper link and housing align. Push the pin through the holes on the upper link of the mount and steering servo housing. Using two 4mm hex bits or wrenches, secure the pin using the screws and washers on both sides. Next, we will connect the motor to the display panel. Push the connector onto the port on the display panel and rotate the locking ring clockwise to secure it. This connector is keyed to fit into the port one way only and will fit easily when aligned correctly. Do not force the connector into the port. Now we will secure the lower gas spring. Start by putting the trolling motor in the stowed position. Now, align the gas spring pin with the shaft stabilizer and insert the pin. Using a number zero Phillips screwdriver, tighten the set screw that secures the gas spring pin to the shaft stabilizer. Align the hole on the base of the lower gas spring with the safety rod and press down. If you must rotate the gas spring, rotate it in a counterclockwise direction only. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, secure the base of the lower gas spring to the mount using the two screws. Now we will secure the cables to the mount. Route the transducer cable through the mount base. Then, route the power cable through the mount base.
reconnect your transducer cable to your chart plotter. Use the cable clamps to secure the cables to the base. Finally, if you have a power plug, reinstall the plug and connect the trolling motor to power. And that's it. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.